For this week's video, we are going to be teaching you all how to hibernate your ants, as well as why you should hibernate your ants in the first place. And as you might have heard, I said we. That is because I am collaborating with Aesthetic Ants for this video. In the background, I will be unboxing a wine cellar and moving some colonies into it for hibernation. Now as you can tell, I'm doing an unboxing in a different place this time. That's because this wine cellar is way too big to fit on my counter, as you can see in the footage. Before we get into how to hibernate your ants, you first need to know when they hibernate and why you should hibernate them in the first place. Ants hibernate when temperatures around the area become so cold that they need to seek out shelter. Here in the US, temperatures in the winter can average at around 25 degrees Fahrenheit. This is way too cold for any insect to be foraging for food. Usually, the best time to hibernate your ants is when the temperatures outside reach below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So usually this is around October to November. In other parts of the US, like Florida, ants don't need to hibernate because the temperatures do not fluctuate drastically in the winter. Now you know when to hibernate your ants, it's time to tell how to hibernate them. To hibernate your ants properly, you will need to take a few things into consideration like what your species preferred temperatures are and how long they hibernate. To find out this information, look up your species and a few pages will come up. There are three phases to hibernating your ants. The slowing stage, sleeping stage and waking stage. For the first stage, you need to gradually lower the temperature of your ants over the next few days. Once the temperature of your ants is at the preferred temperature, you then need to put them in an area where it's dark and the temperature stays steady. Some good places to hibernate your ants would be in a wine cellar or fridge where you can monitor the temperature or a basement that stays at a steady temperature throughout the winter. The next phase of hibernation is the sleeping phase. In this phase, you will notice the maintenance of your ant colonies go way down. When ants are hibernating, they don't need food, water, or sugars nearly as often as they normally would. I like to check up on my ants every few weeks to see how they are doing and if the nest needs watering. When hibernating your ants, you do not need to water the nest nearly as often as the cold temperatures retain water much better. The next phase of hibernation is the waking phase. For this you will need to gradually up the temperature of the nest over the next few days. This step is important, because if you change the temperature of the nest too drastically, the ants could die from it. At this point your ants have made it through hibernation. It's important to note that some colonies may not make it throughout the winter, due to stress or health of the queen. For more information on why and how ants hibernate in the wild, check out part 1 of this video on my channel, link in the description. Hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new about how to hibernate your ants. Also, a huge thanks to Aesthetic Ants for making this collaboration possible. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on the video and let me know you like this style of content. Until next time, I hope you have a great day, peace.